I'm Martin Citron, head of research Belgium. What inspires me most about those living with Parkinson's disease is the resilience in the face of this uh, condition, which has a sort of broad spectrum of symptoms, which certainly in the later stages can be quite terrible. And uh, the resilience and courage of people facing this condition, I find that very inspiring. The overarching theme really is we go deep. And we go deep in really three areas. First, patient centricity. Parkinson's disease is traditionally viewed as a movement disorder and that has really narrowed people's focus on the disease and on a certain narrow set of symptoms. What we've found in uh, more than 20 years of uh, interaction with patients here is that the uh, disease uh, symptomatology is much broader and patients suffer from a whole range of other uh, problems in addition to movement, in particular non-motor symptoms of, of all kinds. The second thing is deep understanding of the pathobiology. And that allows us to come up with differentiated hypotheses and pursuit of several mechanisms in, in parallel. If the third um, element of depth is the uh, scope of what we are trying to, to achieve and the novelty and uh, the various partnerships uh, we're pursuing in order to, to make this happen. UCB is taking specific steps to get from symptomatic treatment to disease modification to cure. Disease modification and Parkinson's disease research basically means swinging for the fences. We are trying to stop or slow the progression of the disease. So not just improving symptoms, but really arresting the disease and blocking the patients from getting worse. And that is what disease modification means. And that's what we are attempting with two of our programs in the clinic currently. First, and I would say most obviously as a force multiplier in our research uh, efforts. So for example, we are currently applying artificial intelligence to help us do image analyses in our preclinical studies. That way we can get to images of better quality and uh, more resolution and better interpretation than we could uh, even five years ago. And that makes a huge difference in our daily research. The second area, which is already a bit more exploratory, is in changing the paradigm of how we discover new targets for the treatment of neurological diseases. And we are doing this both in, internally in collaboration with our bioinformatics colleagues, but also uh, externally with companies that are specialized in, in this area. And this is at this point quite experimental. And then third, more aspirational would be trans digital transformation of clinical trials in neurology. And that's where a lot of potential is because these trials are very expensive. And if one was able to change the paradigm with digital transformation, this could allow much, many more ideas to be tested clinically. So this month is Parkinson's Awareness Month. And if we look for what to expect or hope for in another quarter century of Parkinson's research, I would hope for a cure actually. And I think this is not impossible. But at the very least, we should see disease modification that is slowing of disease and better symptomatic treatment really addressing the whole spectrum of the disease, not just the movement disorder, but also the non-motor symptoms. Mm -hmm.